is a bit of a subjective thing. What seems like nothing to one person can really speak to someone else. And then there's modern art, which I think we can all agree is a bit shit. I mean, it's always got some righteous meaning to it, hasn't it? Like if you asked Damien Hurst why he cut two cows in half, he'd be like, it's to show the divide in nature mankind has created. You know, it's always something poncy like that. It's never, well, I was behind on the rent, so I had to make something. There's always some noble reason. And today's video is no exception. As Mercury Prize winners, the young fathers take us on a journey of things we can do nothing about, but should be mentioned anyway because skin tone. Oh, I know this place! It's the Scottish National Portrait Gallery in Edinburgh! There's some good shit too! I mean, the Scots should be good at art when they've been painting on their own fucking faces for hundreds of years! Quick question, if you make a bust out of a black guy, does it have to be out of darker stone? Did you see that? Someone just came in even though the lights are off. This is either a heist movie or one of the Night of the Museum films. That's fucking freaky. Where's your eyes, girl? Why don't you smile more? You'd look prettier. Gold edged and decorated. Oh yeah, this place is definitely getting robbed. It's a heist movie. A coat framed with gold surrounding white skin wrapped around your body fat and muscles and bones like a magic cloak. Fuck me, mate! Take a breath! You're telling me skin is like a magic cloak? Well, shit, that would have put a new spin on Harry Potter. Silence of the Lambs kind of already did it, though, and it was all white skin, so you might be onto something. The signs of power. The signs of wealth. Yeah, but oh, look at this guy. He's like, the fuck did you just say about me? Anyway, yeah, I don't think many proles could afford portraits back in the day, so that's your wealth part right there. And of course, Scotland wasn't exactly full of black aristocrats, and you are in the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, so I can't help but think you could fuck off to a museum of African art if it bothers you so much. Insignia. Details that seem small and inconsequential, but they are proof of status. Yeah, it's a portrait of someone. Kind of the whole point, wasn't it? Now we got camera phones, any fucker's face can be put up on a wall, but not back then. Your status. White. Powerful. Rich. I am but one of those things, my man. I'm not rich, and I have no power. I'm a pretty shit white person, really. Not fulfilling my destiny at all. This picture confirmed you were a man that you existed. Yeah, and like I said, we all have camera phones now, so that issue's sorted out. Your family bore fruit burst from the tree, and here's the proof. Records exist, you know? You can trace your ancestry back fucking miles, even if no one had a portrait made. I, for instance, come from a long line of floating heads. Remember Zordon from the Power Rangers? That's my grandfather. Does this mean I don't exist? That I'm not a man? No, but you are a fucking idiot. With eight nipples, apparently. That's not right, mate. You wouldn't want a painting of that. Because I don't see a face like mine framed in gold hanging on the wall. I'm pretty sure Mugabe has one like that, if you're that desperate. Seriously, are you getting pissed off because there's no black representation in historical Scottish art? Because there isn't a fucking thing we can do about that, mate. Have you taken all this space? What the fuck? I'm not even Scottish. How can I? You're fucking retarded, man. Sucked out all the air, swallowed all the wine, taken the goodness from the earth, sweated the energy from my family's living essence. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it even possible to be a black person and not talk about slavery? Sure, it was a fucking horrible practice that happened to people of every flavor. But the amount some people go on about it, you'd think it was the best thing that ever happened. In order that you can live forever, etched in gold. Etched in gold? Do you know how paintings work, buddy? Maybe you're talking about the frame, I don't know, but portraits are pretty fragile things, you know? Far from being immortal, and nothing rhymes in this poem. I'm feeling really cheated right now. Where's the universal balance? Where's your dignity? You're in a museum, motherfucker. Not the place to get undressed. Am I meant to admire the brushwork and the colours in the historical context without considering how you came to be here? Well, you can. In fact, maybe you should, otherwise you might have a heart attack in your brain. And the people who look like me aren't. Am I meant to just accept this? 
No, you're meant to get undressed and practice your boxing, obviously. Am I meant to just accept that this is how things work out? No, but accepting that's how things were back then would be a good fucking start. If you want to start working on time travel after that, it's up to you, but given how you can't quite understand paintings of dead guys, I wouldn't recommend it. Ignore the past that has survived despite attempts to gold edge it from existence. Right, that background noise is really starting to piss me off. I only just heard what he said then. Something about trying to gold etch the past from existence, so I'm guessing he wants more portraits of slaves. But there's one problem with that, Milado. They were slaves. Quite famously worked for free. They couldn't afford it. I am here. Too. Now. Yep, yeah, and the police should be there soon too. Breaking into a museum to get naked and fucking shadow box. You're not doing much for your community's image, are you? You are dead. Dead, random, white dude. That sounded like a threat, but whatever. What's so special about you? All the money, I'd say. Notice how you don't see any portraits of flea-riddled peasants. Funny that, isn't it? I am here against the wall framed in gold, smiling in my privilege. You're getting pissed off with a dead guy, mate. I'm just saying, pick your battles, yeah? The privilege of being alive. But he's dead. What the fuck are you talking about? I think this guy's going a little insane. He'll be spreading his shit up the walls next. You watch. And it'll probably be considered performance art because that's just how fucked things are right now. While well, you are now framed in dust. Who? Me? Or do you mean the slaves? Because they're all dead, mate. These paintings aren't alive. You do realise that, don't you? The signs of wealth, the insignia of status. They are a gravestone that a dog pisses against shifting, cracked in clay. I don't think a dog can cock his leg high enough to piss on a painting hung on the wall. Now, ah, maybe an Irish wolfhound can, or Anita Sarkeesian, but otherwise your metaphor doesn't hold a lot of water. They are a long line of inbred spawns soon to die out themselves. Okay, that was really fucking racist. But I am here. Yeah, you are. And there was probably a time when black people weren't allowed in museums, so don't come in and piss all over everything, yeah? You'll ruin it for everyone else. My very existence, my closeness to your face, my breath, all offends thee. Well, yeah, breathing on a painting could create moisture, which is bad for it. If this were daytime, a security guard would tell you to stop. Or it would if you breathed yourself. Oh, sick burn on the dead white guy. Boom, you don't breathe. Have some of that. But you can. Your posterity is a cartoon. I like cartoons. Evidence of a vain stupidity whilst my own monument is the living. Not true. There's the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington. Bit of a way to go, I know, but what do you really want, eh? A fucking statue in the middle of Glasgow that says we're sorry? And why do we even need a monument to slavery when people won't shut the fuck up about it? No one's gonna forget it, you know? No one needs reminding, you've already got that shit covered. Pulsing one that is here, next to you, in your hallowed space, every thought and encryption. What? Museums are safe spaces for white people now? This is brand new information. I am here. Now. But I can feel the gravity of mortality pulling me down. That's because you're a living thing, mate. Not because you're black. Everyone dies. Now put your damn shirt on, you sweaty fuck. Ghost breath stuffing my lungs, the endless gazes of dead, random, white dudes. Look, you're the one who broke into the portrait gallery after hours, so don't fucking complain you're surrounded by portraits. You want a painting of some random black dudes? Here you go. Now shut the fuck up with your whinging. You can't frame me. Plant a big bag of drugs on you and we'll see, me laddo. We'll see. I'm a man. Whoa! Did you just assume your own gender? Despite you, despite you. I see you. Okay. I see you. Yeah, I heard you. And I'm gone.
this news vasectomy. That was fucking shit. Some people have got a real chip on their shoulder about things they can do fuck all about, haven't they? I mean, this guy's pissed off at the people in paintings. That is some next level frustration, that is. And I miss when poetry rhymed. This guy hasn't got shit on Dr. Zeus. So how long before we can hear the rap version of this? Someone will pick it up, won't they? Layer on a backing track of some bitch going, it's hard out here for a pimp. While Eminem does that facial expression like he's trying to fart. And it'll probably sell millions of copies. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron because of the old ass fuckery YouTube is inflicting upon me. And check me out on VidMe because of the aforementioned bumming. The links are in the description. And remember, when a person of colour starts talking to paintings, you know black does crack. <laughs> <laughs>